What's going on, guys? What's going on? Um, gonna be doing something a little bit different today. Um, this whole quarantine business has got me quite bored. So I try to start like doodling around with some stuff that I don't normally, you know, doodle with or whatever. Uh, I got some new ink. It's a uh, Windsor and Newton, uh, like a black and a red ink. Tried to, you know, give it a shot. Do a little drawing today. Um, I'm gonna be honest. It's not exactly the best looking drawing that I've ever done. But uh, hey, they can't all look good, right? Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I got my webcam set up, as you can see, and uh, just doing a little video. Let's get into it. Drawing with Windsor Newton inks. Pretty self-explanatory. I keep forgetting to turn the music down. But yeah, uh, as you can see, I already got my pencil outline kind of down. I finished drawing in that plant that she's working on. Uh, the backstory behind this one. Uh, Tori was wanting some kind of like Celtic goddess thing for the bedroom. So, you know, I thought maybe, maybe this goddess taking care of a, uh, a plant or something would look cool. But, uh, yeah, I got the pencil outline kind of in there. I started inking with the Black Windsor and Newton ink, which lays down really nice. Um, yeah. I usually use like a black manga ink, which is, I'm going to say, better to work with. It's more, more thick. It dries a little bit faster, so I don't have to be so cautious around it. But, you know, other than that, this stuff is actually pretty good. Uh, just brushing in her outline, and then this is where I started trying to use that red uh, ink that I bought. And kind of right off the bat, it was weird, you know, ink right out of the bottle is usually you know, the strongest that it could be. Like with the black, it was just straight up black and it, it laid down how it should. But the red was where it kind of got weird because it came out kind of like already watered down. And you can only layer so much on top of it before it you know, just doesn't get any more dark. So I colored in her hair, I colored in the leaves, and then started adding water to all of my, uh, my black that was on the tray. Uh, I'm actually kind of happy that I got this tray, the, the porcelain tray on the left. Because usually before I had like a, the plastic circle palettes and whenever my paint would dry on them it would be like extremely hard to get the paint off and they were usually stained. So having a porcelain one is kind of nerdy but I enjoy it. I have all the room in the world. It's like an 11 by 15 tray that I just can do whatever I want. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of finishing up now. Uh, like I said, I just laid in multiple layers of black and more ink and everything. Uh, not my proudest work. You know, she looks a little bit awkward and robotic. Uh, the table, the chair that she's sitting on, like there's a lot of aspects to this one that didn't come out the way that I wanted to and they can't all be, you know, perfect artworks. But I probably will take this concept and maybe decide to paint it, like do an entire background and everything too, I think it might be cool. But yeah, uh, this is kind of just something that I threw together today. <sighs> Stay safe guys, like personal hygiene, you know, whatever you gotta do. I just don't want to be in a complete state lockdown because of this. Not like every, we're in Arkansas, you know, not like everywhere else. But uh, appreciate you guys watching in stay sane if you got kids especially stay sane and uh yeah check back again i'll probably have either the reiteration of this or maybe something different coming back to the channel i don't know we'll see what happens but uh yeah appreciate you guys thanks